In the age of stealthy jet fighters, countries race to purchase the latest state-of-the-art combat aircraft to uplift their fleet. Yet many are curious about why the US spent trillions of dollars of its money on the allegedly old fighter F-15EX instead of the stealthy F-35. If you wonder why the US made this rather unconventional decision, you are not alone. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Military TV. Today, we are going to talk about why the US prefers the new version of F-15 rather than the advanced F-35. To understand about it, sit back and stay until the end of this video. The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter has been the centerpiece of the Pentagon's attention, at least for the past few years. But as they go on about weighing the pros and cons of the American fifth-generation combat aircraft, the US Air Force decided to add the fourth-generation F-15EX to their aerial fleet, prompting the inflowing critics to comprehend the logic behind spending billions of dollars into an old workhorse in the era of advanced technology. Now apparently, there are a few reasons why the US did this. First of all, the new F-15EX is a formidable jet with its upgraded feature from the old original versions. The older F-15 was already one of the most effective fighters, a backbone of Air Force superior fleet for decades. With some significant improvements, F-15EX reportedly has an updated cockpit, modern data fusion capabilities, enhanced skill in electronic warfare and threat identification system, as well as the Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System EPAWS. In addition, it can carry nearly 30,000 pounds of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. Second, many of those who criticize the US choice tend to compare the F-15EX to the advanced F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, which is argued to be a more capable multi-role platform. And it can be said that the comparison is quite irrelevant because they were designed to have different jobs. The F-35 was created to follow the footsteps of the multi-role fighter F-16 Fighting Falcon, which put more emphasis on air-to-ground and highly contested airspace. That's exactly why the F-35 can only carry four bombs or missiles while engaging in stealth missions as to maintain a tiny radar profile and avoid detection or targeting. The F-15, on the other hand, is built with the purpose to do battle with other fighter aircrafts in the sky. Hence, compared to the F-35, F-22 Raptor, for which production has been stopped, is most likely to be seen as the next technology filling the role of the F-15. Third, and probably the most important factor in building superiority in military industry, the issue of money. Some people who support the US to buy more F-35s probably don't know just how expensive it is to operate the aircraft, even though it is a far more capable platform. If they insist on proliferating the F-35, they might risk not being able to keep all of them flying. On the other hand, the F-15EX is expected to have a mind-blowing 20,000-hour lifespan and would just cost about half as much as the F-35 to operate per hour. Last but not least, the Pentagon has put on an emphasis that both F-15EX and F-35 are not competing with each other, as the two are intended to complement one another to maximize their effectiveness. So, it can be concluded that the US choice to add more F-15EXs has something to do with increasing the power and effectiveness of the fleet, contrary to solely advancing the versions of their combat aircrafts which was expected for them to do so. Okay, that will be all for today. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to like and drop your comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.